Customer Service Award for Highest Client Ratings, D Magazine's Best Realtor, Five Star Professional Award, and several other recognitions for her success and service to clients. Join her each week as she meets with the top community influencers to help you get to know the area you want to call home. Don't just love your home, love your community. And now, here's your host, Kimberly Woodard. Good afternoon, viewers. I'm so excited about my segment today. Um, as you can see, we're holiday festive, getting ready for that season. Um, I'm sitting here with Dalen Rivera um, with Evergreen Holiday Decor. Um, and excited about our segment. So welcome. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. So let's start with, let's get the viewers to know a little about, about you and um, how did you get started in this business? Yeah, so when I'm not decking the halls, um, <laughs> I work for a floral and event production company. Okay. So I did freelance work both in New York and LA, okay. um, more on the branding side. So I work okay. with a lot of brands like LaCroix, um, Diane von Furstenberg. Right. So when they have pop-up events, we produce these like large-scale installations, uh -huh. um, basically designing events to be photographed and shared. Right. So through that work, um, I got in contact with Debbie Jordan at Magic Moments Events. Yes. Um, she kind of brought me down here to help help produce events for her um, and then kind of through that spectrum you know, it's all word of mouth. So right. I had oh, somebody definitely. approach me, you know, hey, you know, we love your florals. Would you um, consider, you know, decorating some some holiday stuff for us? And I thought to myself, I love Christmas. You know, right. it's like my favorite <laughs> season. Um, so I, I, you know, did their holiday decor and they loved it. And uh, kind of it just launched my company, you know. So I uh, worked with Debbie Jordan with Magic Moments Events. And yes. she kind of brought me in to do a little bit of her holiday decor. Okay. Um, and from there, we started working a lot in the Frisco Plano community community doing yes. like country clubs if you're familiar with club corp yep <laughs> um we do a lot of their properties um and then we started working into residential and kind of it just snowballed from there so we do a lot of really exciting um holiday decor so fun yeah. so fun and we're so excited so was this always you know as a child was this always your passion was this the thing that you know you just loved or you just loved the season you know, I come from a very big uh, family in Wyoming, and okay. um, it's really hard to get together. Mm -hmm. um, but Christmas is always that time when we, right. the whole family was there. Um, so it's always been a really special um, holiday for me. Um, and I find a lot of enjoyment of decorating my own holiday. Um, so being able to help provide that for people around my community is really special. And I always love going into people's homes and seeing what their decor is. You know, right. it has so much history, you know, whether it's something, you know, a nutcracker from their great grandmother, yes. like 50 years ago ago or um, I love seeing how the holiday trends change you know yes. so it's definitely super special oh so fun I know there's always those little you know things that you inherit from your childhood or mm -hmm. from or I remember things that were in my grandmother's house when I was little that you know now I want in my house or maybe it is that little trinket that yeah. was um, hers and now it's in my house for enjoyment so it brings back those memories well let's talk about the holidays and getting ready and our first holiday is Thanksgiving even Yikes. though we are ready for Christmas um, but let's talk about Thanksgiving and you know I know everyone is getting ready they're trying to set their tables and maybe you can give us some advice to the, to the viewers on you know getting that table ready <laughs> yeah absolutely so um, any tablescape that I do I always let um, one item kind of narrate what the rest of the decor okay. is going to be so whether it be you know antique that is from your grandmother's yes. home or you find a candlestick that inspires you I kind of find that piece and then from there I design it um, based on that so okay. um, when you're designing um, you have to be really cognizant especially with flowers uh -huh. um, the type of vessel that you use so okay. if you don't have a lot of decor or excuse me if you don't have a lot of room right. on your table I suggest using something maybe a little bit more linear maybe something with a smaller mouth so you can really just um, focus on some of those small blooms okay. um, if you are looking for something like for me this is one of my favorite vases yeah. um, I actually found this on a trip to Mexico uh -huh. um, it's from a Mex Mexican pottery um, awesome. so I brought that back with me um, and it's a little bit more of a wide mouth so if you do have something that's a little bit wider uh -huh. what I recommend using and this is like a florist trick um, we use uh, chicken wire uh -oh. um, so okay. what that helps does is and I just kind of shave it's like a foot by foot um, yeah. piece and we shape it into a ball um, and we stick it in there and then I do like a tape grid and what that does is it helps lock your stems into place uh -huh. so I love a lo super loose and organic natural look to my yes. floral arrangements so that helps with that style um, 
And Texas is very, very beautiful in the fall and winter. Yes. So I, I recommend using those natural elements that we find. You know, go okay. out and forage and take those autumn leaves and let that kind of inspire um, your, your table decor. Oh, very fun. Well, I'm just all inspired, ready to get get started. So also, I guess my question is, so if you have a long table versus a round table, you know, I have both mm -hmm. um, in my house and for the holidays, I'll probably end up using both. Um, you know, would you, so I'll use a wider mouth, obviously, probably for the round table yeah, yeah. to give um, a little bit then, more full. full yeah, yeah. yeah. And then if you're doing, again, my family loved food. So yes. our whole table <laughs> is full of, you know, beautiful foods. Um, so if you don't have a lot of space or you maybe don't have in your your budget to have lush, lush florals right. on every single table, even taking some light greenery and just styling that um, mm -hmm. is a great tip to use. And that's, again, where those small vases come in, where you can have some delicate blooms on your table as well. Oh, fun. So any other tips that you have? So before we, let's keep going on Thanksgiving, and um, since it's just around the corner uh, for those tables or just around, you know, just to give a little festive, because sometimes I know some of us like to, you know, have a, I guess a mixture going on as um, we have, we're still so excited about Christmas, but we can't forget Thanksgiving. So we still have to have some of you know, that, is there anything that you have on tips that maybe um, we're, you know, we started putting our Christmas up too early, but, you know, we have everyone over for Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I I would say for your table decor, um, don't be afraid to feature, you know, the the season's harvest as well. Okay. Like um, small bowls of, you know, nuts or grapes or something or a nice, like it almost like the old world master style paintings, okay. you know, that kind of same feel. It's really nice on a table and there is power in ambient lighting. So candles galore really oh. set the tone for a nice intimate stage. Oh, nice. So get that, uh, viewers. Um, lighting, lighting, lighting. <laughs> Lots of candles. Um, so let's talk about Christmas. Yes. Yay. Or if, you know, you don't celebrate Christmas, the holiday season. Yes. Um, and let's talk about, you know, some of the trends that you're seeing for this um, season. You know, colors and what do you see out there? Yeah. So if uh, 2018 was a year of um, minimalism, 2019, yeah. 2020 is a year of opulence. So oh, yeah. let your freak flag fly. That's for sure. <laughs> Sure. So um, definitely in excess. So um, making really, really lush um, trees or lush arrangements. Um, right now, that millennial pink is yes. super popular, yeah. right? But in terms of um, colors, pastels. A lot of pastels are okay. showing up um, as we go into this next year. Um, and then for me, my personal style is I like, um, again, I'm from Wyoming, so yeah. I love that like super natural organic. So don't be afraid to use natural elements in your holiday decor. Okay. Um, I like to, even in my like garlands I like to trim um, some evergreen that I find in nature or I can get it from my local florist or oh, wholesaler nice. and add that into your trees and into your garlands and those different elements to have a very natural outdoor look okay. um, and then it's all about monochromatic so right. um, I love using one color and just finding the different tones and hues it just makes it really really impactful so like you walk in the door and your eye immediately goes to that decor right no well I love that there's um it sounds like you can't have any more. You just can't keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Before it felt like you could only put like one thing over here and one thing here, but you can put collections. <laughs> yes. So let's talk to you. I know everyone has that little, that antique um, item. Um, I know I do. Um, that you just don't know how to fit it into maybe your new decor, your new hmm. theme. Uh, maybe it's that. It means a lot to you, but everyone else is like, what is this right. little, you know, figurine that is there? And you, do you have any recommendations of how you can fit that in? Maybe if it's a tablescaping or just somewhere around. <laughs> yeah. So um, for me, uh, the, the seasons are always about remembering, uh -huh. you know, those different memories and, yeah. and really taking those items and showcasing them. They may not be the most beautiful thing in right. your entire collection, but find a very special place in your home, whether it be on your dresser or a nice side table. And if you have a lot, like for me, my mom collected nutcrackers yes. and they weren't always cute nutcrackers, yes. <laughs> but you know, so many, and we always found a place for them. Um, and if you have a collection, try not to spread it all over the house. Try okay. to find one focus place so somebody can come into your home and appreciate that collection for what it is oh i like that tip because i do i am the nutcracker girl i've got <laughs> a whole bunch of them and um, it was something my husband um from his childhood and you know now we started and the kids love them and so 
I, I used to kind of spread them because I didn't have them, but this year I will keep them in one place. <laughs> so that's fun. Well, then I get to enjoy them all at one. And it's, you know, it's kind of fun throughout the years, the different ones. They mean more, I think, more to the kids too. So, yeah. Um, well, let's also talk about some, you know, tips. What do you have, you know, some tips for over the holidays when you're decorating, you're um, getting ready, you're getting all, and I know how I am. I have all these boxes and they're in my storage and then I get them out and they're, and I get overwhelmed, you know, <laughs> like, where do I start? <laughs> um, what would you say you know, to start with, you know, to really make that most impactful, you know, presentation in the home? Yeah. So um, what I recommend doing is it's all about clusters. So yeah. like when you're decorating, um, you don't necessarily have to cover a tree or a garland or whatever decor in ornaments head to toe. Okay. Um, so I'm going to show you just a couple tips yes. and tricks that I have. Yes. Um, so you can get, you know, small little sprigs, you know, from your local craft store. Mm -hmm. um, they're pretty easy to find. Yeah. Um, take your sprig and then cluster your bulbs. Um, and I collect um, antique bulbs okay. um, that I use on my personal Christmas tree. I use floral wire, which, again, you can find at any of your craft store. Okay. And then you're going to loop your bulbs together into a cluster. So you get this like nice um, oh, focal, yes. yeah. Um, and then you just twist it here to kind of secure. And then you can either place this directly into your tree and that okay. gives a nice focal mo moment. Or um, what I like to really do is then I would adhere it to a sprig and then that easily inserts into your tree. So when you go oh, to nice. take it down, you can just pull it out and then you can store it that way. And then it's ready to go for your next year. Oh, I love so that. So that's a great tip and trick. For me, the holidays are all about organization. You know, okay. it might take a, a little bit more time at the end of your season but really making sure that you're pulling your decor off putting it in a separate box so that when you go to put it out um, you can say this box is specifically for this room and it's got all the decor it makes it really easy to put up and really really easy to take down um, like I said before also natural elements the yes. more natural elements that you can add into your decor the more lively it's going to feel okay. you know um, I love a good mantelpiece there's yes. nothing that <laughs> says um, holiday to me more than sitting by a fire right um so definitely a mantle is my favorite holiday item. Um, so with that, I cluster my bulbs. Less is more okay. uh, in terms of spreading your decor. You know, So okay. when I say cluster, make sure that's a big focal moment. Have nice draping elements to it. Add in that natural um, greenery to okay. really liven up the space. Um, and then for me also gifting. Um, I love, I'm a big gift giver. Yes. Um, and when I gift, I try to find, whether it be wrapping paper or the gift boxes themselves, I try to find something really unique that speaks to that, um, that person, yeah. you know? Um, and I don't know if you, have you ever been to Paper Source by chance? Yes, I love, I love Paper Source. <laughs> they ha and I'm sure you can find it at any craft store, but um, finding a good paper goes a long way, you know? Yes. Re something that really speaks to the person that you're giving it to. Oh, I love that tip too. Because I, I love wrapping and having everything kind of, you know, I just, I love the gift part. You know, finding that gift for someone. Reason for the and, season. And, yes, yeah. yes. And, you know, it's more about me giving the gifts than, you know, receiving. Sure. But, except for my husband, if you're listening <laughs> to this, um, you will need to, re uh, I need to receive things. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but no, it's just fun and it's fun to watch our faces. I know it, during the holidays when we're giving, I'll just sit there and watch everyone open their gifts from um, that we give um, versus, you know, and then I'm probably the last one to open everything because oh. I just like to really You're be such in the a giver. moment. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, let's also, um, so let's, you know, we're here, we talked about um, tablescapings and everything. But let's talk about, you know, we have a holiday party. So we're, you know, we've talked about, you know, us being in the home and everything. Do you have any tips? You know, we have all those tables that, not that just the center table, but, you know, the buffet tables and things mm. like that. Some great ideas that maybe add that little punch. You know, would you do something, you know, kind of what we, you know, demonstrated here? Or do you have any other, you know, thoughts of those kind of buffet tables? Because we always have buffet tables. Sure, sure. <laughs> um, you know, that's where, again, some of these, like, little gift boxes, uh -huh. I think find small accents that really reflect your style. Okay. So if you you love opulent things, yes. find opulent things to put around your home. You know, find a very ornate bowl or something and fill it with your favorite bulbs, you know, monochromatic bulbs like we talked about. Right. Um, florals you can always bring in. Um, I love to forage. We have so many evergreen trees mm -hmm. around here in the area. Forage some natural elements and put that in a vase and let that be a focal point on your buffet table. Or you can take... Um, 
you know, some garlands and you can weave it in through your buffet table. There's a lot of options that you can do. Yeah, just to really, you know, I always feel that that's always the thing that gets you, you forget about it. You yeah. know, you, you're so focused on getting your tables for everyone to sit at, you know, looking great. And then the buffet table goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, well, um, so we, what other um, you know, tips that we have, you know, we're getting ready. Also, you know, let's talk about, you know, we've got, we don't really talk about it as much, but you know, we get to the new years and everyone's getting ready for the new year parties mm. and um, glitz and glam. I always um, like to say, um, and you know, we do that and then we get to January one and we have to take down everything. Do you have some tips that maybe we could reuse some of these things and keep it maybe in for another month or so? Because I always feel like I take everything down and I've stripped my house and now it's naked. Yeah, the post-season <laughs> blues, as yes. we like to call it. Yes. Yeah. Um, so for me, um, going back to that, the trends of having that monochromatic bulbs, mm -hmm. those are something that you can leave out that still have a very like glitzy, glam look that you okay. can still style around the house. Okay. A lot of people keep their tree up. Like We don't like to talk about it, but a lot of people keep up their keep their tree up well into January yeah. you know so I think you know as as we start to take some of those elements down do that in transition maybe okay. everything doesn't have to come out all right. at once you know maybe take the garland down maybe take the stuff that speak a lot to the specific holiday down right. but leave some of those elements up you know I you know what's become super popular is Halloween trees like using the Christmas yes. tree and decorating with you know your your spooky uh, like yes. October elements or even harvest you can add harvest to that that same idea can be used as we go into the new year yeah maybe we can take some of those glitzy like very christmas or holiday specific elements right. off but keep those nice organic bulbs on and and that'll help you transition nice nice and i do like that you um the all the natural elements because i know in my um home decor i have a lot of that natural you know element look mm -hmm. um and just spot, spots you know in my as fillers um so using that i can keep that maybe out and maybe on my tables <laughs> This so really is still part of the season, you know. Right. Um, so having those natural elements really help transition. Oh, great, great. Well, I'm excited. I am so excited. I'm ready to get like started. I don't know about you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I know you are. You're already we're knee right deep. There, yeah. right. So if um, my viewers were like, oh my gosh, I need um, help. How do they contact you? Yeah, so we have a website. It's evergreenholidayco.com. Okay. Um, they can shoot us over an email. Um, what I love about um, what are the services we offer is we offer anything from full design packages. So okay. we can come in head to toe, set up fluff, take everything down. Yes. Or if you're somebody that really loves to just um, decorate your Christmas yeah. tree, we have a team of guys that can come in, fluff your Christmas tree, get it all ready to go, and you get to do the fun part. And then we come back and take it down at the end of the season. Nice. So that is definitely <laughs> a, a, a great source. Yes. So is my dreader. It takes me days and days, and then I'm, I'm still not happy. <laughs> so yeah. I love that. Well, so if you guys are getting into that panic like I am, um, you can um, reach out to Dalen and um, get him over to your home and um, get your home all ready for the holidays. Yeah. Well, thank you Absolutely. so much. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, and I, viewers, I hope you enjoyed this segment and got ready for the holidays. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in to Community Cocktails with Kimberly. If you'd like to contact Kimberly with your real estate needs, you can reach her at KimberlyWoodard.ebby.com. Hope you enjoyed our guest this week. Tune in every first and third Wednesday of the month for insights from industry leaders in your DFW area. Remember, don't just love your home, love your community.